Dell's Enhanced Preboot System Diagnostics, more commonly referred to as EPSA, is an incredibly useful diagnostic tool. In this video, we give a brief overview of the manual tests and logs associated with EPSA. There are two main screens for the EPSA diagnostics, basic and advanced. A basic screen appears first by default and contains minimal controls for starting and stopping tests. To get to the advanced screen, click on the next advanced arrow button in the lower right hand corner of the basic screen, or for touch screens, press the pause button displayed and simply swipe left. This is where you will find more directed testing and more detailed information about the overall health of the system. On the left side of the advanced screen is where all the components and devices are grouped. On the right side are tabs with information about your current system configuration, test results, system health, and the event log. To start a test manually, just click on a component or device that you want to test and wait for the results. Activating thorough test mode will involve more additional extensive testing. For advanced options for a specific device, just right click on the device. From here you can choose which tests to be run for the device by ticking and unticking the checkboxes. After running a test, if no errors are found, all tests passed will be displayed, but if you do get an error, contact the Dell Tech Support Agent and be prepared to give them the error result messages that appear. Log result data is very helpful to Dell Tech Support Agents when assisting you. The Event Log tab will only be present if there is Event Log data. If the Stat column contains a warning icon, this indicates additional attention is needed, while a green check mark is for informational items. The source column tells you which log the item was taken from. Because EPSA runs from a read-only resource, in order to provide any logged results, you may be asked upon exiting to save results on a USB key. For this reason, it's a good idea to insert a USB drive prior to starting the EPSA. If logging is not possible, then only a basic exit prompt will appear. At any time you find that logging is not possible, and no event log information is present, make a note of any errors and validation code data. For even more information on EPSA and how to run it, watch our video about EPSA Pre-Boot System Assessment Test, which is available on our Tech Support Dell YouTube channel. Whenever you need help or have questions, you can always contact us through social media on Facebook or Twitter. Check out the Dell Community Forum, where you can chat and share info with other Dell users. We have many more tips and tutorials on the Tech Support Dell channel, so be sure to become a subscriber. If you like this video, give it a like, and thanks for watching.